Hello friends, have you ever been tired of with lots of promotional emails in your inbox that you don't even know when you subscribed? Whenever you log in with your personal email ID, you sometimes unintentionally subscribe to the emails because they want to show you some advertisement so that you revisit the same website again or purchase some product from their website. In this video, I am gonna tell you what is fake email generator, how you can create a fake email to log into any account. These are actually trash emails and are very popular. You can also call disposable emails or temporary emails. The tool will create a fake random email ID for a few minutes or hours and you can use it to sign up onto any website. You can also receive OTP emails and verification links on the same email. Once you sign up, the email will destroy automatically after a few minutes or hours. There are lots of tools available for free which allow you to create disposable emails. In this video, I am going to show you which tool is the best to create it. On your browser, just search for temp mail. You can find the website at the top. Click on it. The website will open. As soon as you enter the website, it will generate a temporary email ID and from here you can just copy it and use it. It is that simple. And once you sign up on a website, you will get an OTP or verification link or a code on this email. Just scroll down and you will get an inbox. It is continuously checking for emails. When you receive it, you can get your verification code or link here. On top, you will find copy, refresh, change email ID or delete buttons. But this will automatically delete after some time. You can also find their app on App Store and Play Store. You can also subscribe to their premium service. And if you try to use forget password in the future, then you can't because the email was already disposed of so make sure to save your password or create a new account. Some websites will give you an error that you can't use a disposable email for SignUp. In that case you have to use your personal email ID. Thanks for watching the video. Hit the like button to get more such videos.